Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. The three sides of a triangle are A, B, and C respectively. It is known that the square of A plus the square of B is bigger than 5 times the square of C. Would you like to prove that C is the shortest side of this triangle? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. There is no essential difference between A and B here. We might simply assume that B is the relatively shorter one. Then the target to be proved becomes that C is smaller than B. Whenever encountering the problem related to the lengths of the three sides of a triangle, we always first think of that. In any triangle, two sides taken together in any manner are greater than the remaining one, and the difference between two sides is smaller than the third one. Regarding how to choose three sides to fit into this conclusion, since we have assumed that B is not longer than A, and the goal is to prove C is the shortest, we choose the summation of B and C to be greater than A and the difference of A and B to be smaller than C. Going back to the condition, we have the square of A plus the square of B. Everyone is familiar with that, they can be generated from the square of the difference between A and B. In this way, we have the square of A plus the square of B minus twice A times B is smaller than the square of C. In the condition, the side of the square of A plus the square of B is greater than the side of 5 times the square of C. Now we have the side of the square of A plus the square of B is smaller than the other side. So we replace the square of A plus the square of B by 5 times the square of C. The direction of the inequality sign remains the same. We therefore have 4 times the square of C is smaller than twice A times B. Now we are going to use the other condition that the summation of B and C is bigger than A. We replace A in the existing conclusion with B plus C. The direction of the inequality sign remains unchanged. We therefore get, 4 times the square of C is smaller than twice B plus C times B. At this point, if we already know how to solve quadratic inequalities, we can take B as a known variable and C as an unknown variable, and directly solve it to prove C is smaller than B. But it also doesn't matter if we haven't learned about how to solve quadratic inequalities yet. We can deal with it by using proof by contradiction. Because the target to be proved is that C is smaller than B. So we assume that, C is not smaller than B. Replacing all B on the right side of the inequality with C, we get twice C plus C times C. Since B and C are both positive numbers, this result cannot be smaller than the original one. And this result is exactly equal to 4 times the square of C. So we get 4 times the square of C is not smaller than twice B plus C times B. This contradicts the previous conclusion. The assumption is therefore false and C must be smaller than B, which means that C is indeed the shortest side. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.